is Lena and welcome to my channel. I'm an online teacher and on my channel I like to talk about all things that help you to build your online teaching career. So if you like to hear content about that, please don't let this be the last time you come to my channel. And in this video, I want to talk to you about ways that you can actually start becoming an online independent tutor, especially for teaching English. Many of us um, have taught ESL with online companies before, but we want to maybe do this on our own, or you might want to just tutor another language or another subject on your own. How can you do this? That's what we're going to talk about. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because in my last couple of videos, um, if you follow me, you saw that I talked about the changes that are happening or that are being talked about in China and um, how this could affect us as online ESL teachers to ch children in China. Uh, it could negatively affect us. It could um, uh, lessen the times that we're able to teach in China. So if that is the case, then we need to start preparing for other options, okay? So if you have not seen those videos, and if you're interested in seeing more information about that, I will leave it in the cards so that you can go ahead and um, see what I said about that. And I had some articles that I was referring to. Um, but we need to prepare ourselves for changes that happen, or maybe we just wanna do it and we just have, don't even know, we don't know where to get started. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about it in this video. But before I get into those resources, and I'm gonna actually show you and walk you through what it looks like, what the websites look like, what you could do on the websites and all of that. I'm gonna go through that. But before I do, I do wanna tell you that I've actually um, started two things that I wanted to share with you. One, I have a, a Teachers Pay Teacher store now that is brand new, but if you are interested in seeing what I've created and what I'm going to be adding to it, please go to Teacher Lena's Teacher Pay, T or no, Teacher Lena's TPT store. That is where you'll find me at Teachers Pay Teachers. And um, not only that, I do have small group um, teacher tech training classes that I'm starting. Um, right now I have Saturday classes and if um, uh, we'll see how that go and it goes and I might be able to add some during the week. But this is just for teachers who, who want to use more technology in their classrooms, but they just are unsure about it or don't really know how to do it or want to learn more about it. You know, I, I, I use it in my classroom all the time. I use teacher tech. I use it for green screen, you know, that's Manicam, um, for my green screen, for props, for rewards, for, you know, other fun things to use in the class. Um, and then I also use Google Slides for games and creating uh, interactive slides. So if you're interested in learning more about that and you just need somebody to kind of be there to, you know, so you can ask questions and all that, I have small group trainings um, that have a very good introductory price right now. So. Um, go ahead and check it out on my website. You go to teacherlena.com, hit the tab for uh, need help, and you can sign up. Okay, so this video is going to be talking about four resources that I have. Um, the first one is um, be doing freelance work on Fiverr. Okay, I've talked about this before in other videos. Um, where I've talked about teaching independently and one was Fiverr and some people don't really know what that is all about so I'm going to go to the website and talk about that um, also um, some good curriculum that uh, I've used as an independent teacher that is free to use it's very well developed and it, it actually goes by um, different levels like if you have uh, beginning students who are learning to speak English all the way up to you know more advanced they have lessons that they've developed this is on Ungu on the Ungu website you can use their curriculum and oh, it's really good and it's free but then there's also off to class and I've used this one too you it's a it's a paid resource they give you curriculum and they also give you other you know tests and you know other resources that you can use with your students and that is that is about fifteen dollars a month i want to say about that um so we'll look at that and then there's also several websites that you could just search for if you're trying to do more of like a um, conversational style lesson with your students um there's several uh, websites that just have discussion questions or topics 
and they'll give you questions to go along with those topics. So um, I'll show you what one looks like. And, you know, again, you can Google them and there's so many out there. There's so many online resources that you can find, but these are just for trying to minimize it. So to save you some time looking around on the, on the internet and, uh, you know, things that have been used by a teacher and that are um, tried and true. So now I'm going to show you what the websites look like and what I did when I was on them and we'll go through that. Okay. All right, so this is Fiverr. Fiverr is a place where freelancers can go and they can offer their services. Um, you just open up an account and then you can, you can um, start to advertise your service. And they've got, you know, you can see they've got graphic designers, digital marketers, writing um, trans and translation and a whole other slew of things. And somebody at one point had um, messaged me and said, well, there's not that many teachers on on Fiverr. Well, I will to show you like, you know, if you just, you just have to know how to, how to find them. If you go to learn English, then you will see many, many, many teachers will pop up. There are lots of teachers on Fiverr offering services. So, um, and you can see there are various prices. Uh, you know, I'm sure it all depends upon your experience level and uh, what type of lesson you're offering, um, you know, a whole, a whole bunch of things. So um, I do know that they, if you are a North American uh, teacher or tutor, you can probably get away with pricing your classes higher um, because that North American accent, a lot of times people are trying to learn. Um, but that doesn't mean you can't if you're not a North American tutor you, you can still definitely do well There's lots of people on here, but you know again when you when because there are lots of people on here You do want to kind of make yourself stand out to, to um, So that you can draw more students to you and so you might have to start out by um, Starting at a lower price so you can get some students and you can get some reviews and then you can raise your prices after people can see that you are tried and true people like you so yeah and then um, I've said in one of my videos before that once you are on here um, people can start to uh, approach you for different types of jobs too they don't just ask you for uh, learning English they might ask you to translate something or they might ask you to do a video for them or they might ask you to um, help them uh, formulate some curriculum or they want you know I had somebody in Haiti he would start starting a school. He wanted me to be like a teacher for the school. And then COVID hit. And so that whole, whole plan um, didn't go through. But there's a lot of other opportunities that can come about from you posting on Fiverr. And you can e even see maybe there are some things that you want to do. Like maybe you want to proofread for somebody or you might want to um, write something for somebody. You know, there's, there's other opportunities on Fiverr. So that's Fiverr. You open up an account and then um, you would go to... Okay, let me go back up to the top. I can show you. You go up here and then I'm gonna go to my profile. I've already set it up, so you have to set yours up. And then after you do that, then you can add a gig, create a gig. And then you can, when you start creating your gig, um, they will ask you uh, things like, you know, what what kind of packages, packages you wanna sell. Um, I'm gonna. I don't want to go through all of those prices, those um, those steps, but I'll just show you what mine looks like. Hopefully, if I press on this, we'll be able to see. Okay, so mine are not active right now, so we cannot actually see what my packages look like. Otherwise, I'd show you. But um, yeah, you you have three different packages that you can offer. You can make them uh, very similar in what you offer. Just change the times. And with the times change, and you can um, ask for more money as you change the time. So, you know, or you can um, offer different types of English lessons, uh, maybe a, a conversational style, or you can offer like a business style English class, or you can offer a, you know, a kids class. You know, so you can you can change your um, your gig with the different packages that way. So. 
that is fiber. Now let's look at uh, Angu. So if you go to Angu, you could, you know, Angu.com, it first looks like they want to offer you English lessons. So you have to go to the, um, the tab and find materials. So once you go here, you'll see that they have their lesson materials um, by level. So beginner all the way to proficient. And if you slide this little thing over, then you can just um, get the beginner levels between one and two level. So, you know, they will minimize it for you. So that's kind of cool. And then if you press on one of these, let's just look at English for kids. Um, they will have all of these lessons for you to choose from. And there's several of them. I mean, look, they keep going and going all the way to 52 lessons. And that's just 52 lessons for beginner kids. All right. And then if you click on one of them, let's see what it looks like. All right, gives you objectives and it gives you fun pictures. Let's begin. Do you press on this? Mm. Okay, so those are pictures that I guess you could talk with with the kids and say, you know, have them repeat the pictures um, or what the pictures are after they see it. So that's what you could do there. Then listen and repeat after your tutors. You're singing the ABC song. And then they have the ABC song for you there. So they're somewhat interact. I mean, um, what's the word? Um, automated. You know, they have these are somewhat automated lessons, but um, before they used to be just kind of like still lessons, but they've added, added a little bit more animation to them. So here's some more pictures. Um, um, you, your tutor will say a, a word, click on the letter that starts the word. Okay, so they have where the student can actually press on the, the letters and, and choose something. So that's fun too. So, uh, you know, again, if I keep going down, you can see this is a whole lesson that is well designed that you can use for free. Okay, and it keeps going with quizzes. Okay, so this is, I am on lesson 12 now. So the, I have moved on from the first one they're just kind of all stuck together and so we're progressing here I didn't realize that at first but yeah so that's just an example of what you can use for free um, let's just click on one of the more advanced lessons since we're here let's try to see what one of those looks like okay so I'm gonna go back out go to proficient let's see what pops up daily news, conversation, travel, describing pictures. I do like to use that. That really helps them to um, use a lot of their vocabulary that, vocabulary that they know. And let's just look at one. And then it'll give you more vocabulary to use. So helpful vocabulary to use while you're talking about this picture. Love it. Okay, and then let's go back. That was an intermediate level, but if we go down, there's business, English for kids, we already talked about that. Um, IELTS, a lot of people will want to prepare for the IELTS exam, so they give you lesson prep for that, pronunciation, um, world literature, they even give you conversation topics, um, and more advanced stuff for the TOEFL and other things. So that's what that looks like. Very helpful. And then there's off to class. If you go to the website, this is what the first page looks like. I used to have a subscription um, because I wanted to test my student using it. And then I, I canceled it after I was done with that process. But this is what their classroom materials looks like. If you did have a, a um, subscription, you'd be able to use these things. They do have lessons for adjectives, phrasal verbs, you know, you see you can, and you can actually break it down by um, the level of the student, like C11. Um, 
I could be wrong, but it looks like those are the levels. I, I don't know enough about this website. I didn't use it that much to know exactly how it was broken down, but I'm just showing you that they do have lessons and they're broken down into different levels and um, different types of lessons. And what's nice about it is they give you, I don't know if you can really tell by just looking at it here, but they give you um, like assignments. Mm -hmm. So, and so it, it gives you a progression based upon after your student takes a, uh, an exam just to see like where they're, a placement exam, um, you could do it that way or you could just select what level you want them to start at. And then they will, you know, once they figure out the level, then they'll give you lessons based upon that. And um, then you can test them again. But let me just let me just warn you, the test is pretty extensive. It was like a hundred questions, various types of questions. So it was, you know, with um, listening, reading, writing, and speaking, all those things were included in the placement exam and even the um, the less the the test that was given later on. So yeah, it's it's pretty extensive if you want to use this for your students, and it wasn't that expensive. I'm sure they have. Let's go to pricing and see what it looks like. Um, sign up for free. Well, I guess you can use select lessons if you sign up for free. Oh, here we go. And this is what the packages look like. Fifty-seven dollars a year for standard for two students. Not bad. So, all right, you can go ahead and check that out if you're interested in that. And then the, the last resource I want to talk about were um, our ESL discussions. Like I said, this is just one example, but there's lots of websites, websites like this that give you topics and then you click on them and they'll give you questions about the topics. So um, if we just click on Academy Awards, there's an ad. <laughs> Don't want to see it. And then here are the questions. Mm -hmm. So they give you a few questions. Um, okay, so this is uh, setting it up as, as if you had more than one student in the session. And so they would ask each other questions. But, or you could just, you know, be the teacher and ask questions to the student. Um, but they do these by um, alpha, alpha, the alphabets, they alphabetize the, the topics. And there are a ton of topics that you could use. So really helpful if you're doing like a conversational style lesson with your, um, with adult learners, more adult, maybe teenage learners, this is really helpful. And then as they're talking, you can just correct some of their pronunciation um, and maybe help them with their sentence structure. Uh, so that's really good. And then there's, there's other um, websites too that would allow you to find ESL games that you can use online with your students. So that's something that you can do a little bit more research on. But I just want to give you just a few um, options just so you could see what's out there and how to get started. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. And if you found any of this information helpful, I would really appreciate it if you go ahead and give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And before you leave, I do have some more information that can help you as an online teacher. So check it out and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. So everyone, I wanna leave you with a few things. And one is Manicam because Manicam is the online teacher's best friend, as I put it, because it allows you to do so much in your classroom. It really helps to bring your classroom to life. So you can use it to um, use props for your classroom, to decorate your classroom, and so much more. Um, and this is just a picture of it without me in the middle. I'm just showing you what it actually looks like, but you can add your image in the middle there, but I just don't have it for right now. But I do want to show you some of the things that you can add. You can add um, props to help show the weather. If you're teaching young children, you can show them, you know, different things for what the weather looks like in their part of the world. Or you can decorate your classroom with little little props, little welcome banners, and you know, name tags, and all these things can be 
um, made bigger or smaller, however you want it to look, or they even have a lot of borders that you can use on Manicam to help decorate your classroom. So there's a lot of fun things that you could do with Manicam. And uh, there is a link in the description box down below that can help you to find one for yourself. There's a free version, but there's also a paid version. And if you do uh, use my link below, I do get a little bit of a percentage of that. So I would love you if you would help me with that. And they also have the chroma key and virtual background options. So if you wanna add a virtual background, um, you can either add your own picture or they have pictures that you can use already on the platform. Um, then they also have a blurred out feature or replace feature. So you can do a lot with your virtual backgrounds to um, have fun with different pictures in your background.